I don't believe there are words in the English language strong enough to convey the degree to which I hate Elon Musk. But it is with every fiber in my being, every piece of my existence, that I despise this man. Because this dumb, arrogant, greedy bastard has started the dumbest fucking trend in history. Backstory. So yesterday on Snoop's page, I saw this. Th this should have been my first warning. I chuckled, but I couldn't fully process what was happening just yet. It didn't hit me until the following thing happened this morning. I received a like from a blue check follower. I had no idea who they were. And I'm not saying I'm the know-all end-all when it comes to who's who in the celebrity world. Because honestly, I only know who most of these people are because of y'all. Something said do a little digging. So I did. So I went to this person's page and saw that they had less than 373 followers. Which was curious because, again, I've only been back on Instagram for a few months now. And the only reason I'm on there is that's where all the black millennials are. And I happen to like black millennials because I am a black millennial. And y'all use that shit as a fucking business card. Although for very good reason, you should stop doing that shit very, very soon. So I dig a little deeper because, again, the last time I thought I checked, you know, you had to have a certain follower count in order for you to be verified by a meta or the company formerly known as Facebook. And because I'm a content creator, I'm trying to find out how I can skip the whole hassle of doing what I need to do in order to get verified the regular way. I'm always looking for loopholes. So in my quest to find one, I see this shit. And for $14.99 a month, you can now be verified on Meta. But once again, the problem that presented itself with Twitter Blue shows up because anyone can pay for it. Which means the bots will be verified on Meta just as they are on Twitter Blue. And the problem with this subscription scheme that all of these social media companies are now about to come flooding out the gates with because competition is a thing, is that it turns a once free space where we were not paying to have our data stolen and sold for free so companies can make a whole bunch of fucking money. Now we have to pay for the privilege of having our data stolen. On top of the fact that if you do not pay for these things, you now enter the freemium tier, which means further suppression of your content and a further inability to reach the people that you want to reach with the shit that you have to do. And it's not about the cost of the subscription. It's the fact that multiple social media platforms are gonna be asking for us to pay for this shit. Welcome to microtransaction hell. Thanks, Elon. I fucking hate it. I really feel the need to stress that this is not about the money or the cost of these packages, but it is about the snowball effect of having to pay for your streaming services, pay for your music, pay to watch your content, pay to turn on your car because Tesla also started that subscription service bullshit with their fucking EV vehicles. And now all the fucking car companies are doing it. So it is turning our former existence where we were only having to pay for a few things into one where we are having to pay for every single thing that we have to do in society. And what this effectively does is silence those who aren't making enough money to pay for it. Because unlike, say, your Netflix or Disney Plus or any of these other places where you can share passwords, you can't share passwords on a social media thing. You can't share access on, on, on your car. You can't share access on your fucking house. So now we got bills on top of fucking bills. And these companies are getting cheaper and cheaper. And robots are getting cheaper and cheaper. Which means you will not be able to make the money you need to do the things you need to do. And social media was the last space where you could speak what you felt. Sure, it let shit posts fly out of our mouth. But it's also the reason why we've been able to make the changes that we've been able to make. The reason why Ron DeSantis and these Fucking Republicans keep losing their mind about woke culture because we had a free space to express ourselves. Was it always the most articulate and beautiful way? Absolutely not. But it was a place we could collectively gather and mobilize. And now these fuckers are just like, well, fine, we'll just make it more expensive for you to do it. And you know what happens when that happens? People slowly start cutting these subscriptions because as the economy gets tighter, 
and the price of everything goes up, these things will have to get cut because you can't afford these subscriptions. And now we go back to the way things were where they could just get away with whatever the fuck they wanted to and no longer have to worry about a hashtag being the reason why they lose billions of fucking dollars. This is not progress. This is not the eventual end all be all. This is a space which made billions of fucking dollars off of free information that we provided for them. And now they're going to turn around and silence us with it, making it so that we go back into a space of being uninformed and voiceless against the very powerful few. And I don't fucking like that. And I promise on my God, on my mama, on my hood, on my entire fucking bloodline, I'm going scorched earth on these tech motherfuckers. Because fuck them, that's why.